Okay, so uh, jumping into some AMD news here, guys. This is actually a pretty interesting one that kind of surprise dropped today yeah. that I'm personally really excited about. And of course, it's uh, so it's not rumors. This is confirmed data, but of course, we don't have any you know like actual you know yeah information. Essentially, AMD put out a press release saying they'll talk about stuff. and CES basically put out they, they put it out on ces essentially is what happened uh the, the AMD has their own but so then there was, yeah there was two press releases yeah. that came out one early this morning that was just on a standard press release site and then yeah. the ces one. and then there was ces yeah so most of the data i gathered was from the ces one but some very interesting things said from uh, lisa sue so first off it is confirmed and we kind of already knew this lisa sue is giving a keynote at ces 2019 on the 9th of january at 9 a.m pacific time because that's where ces takes place wait is ces los angeles or las vegas I think it's in LA or in um, uh, another city in California. Okay, well, I think it's specific time. Anyway, 9 a.m., whatever time, wherever CES is, I'm having trouble remembering for some reason. So yeah, Pacific Time. We looked it up. Pacific Time for uh, 9 a.m. So anyway, very exciting. Lisa Sue talking about stuff. We've all been excited about AMD and the PC world mm -hmm. lately and what they are doing. So 7 nanometer CPUs. We already knew that was coming. We're going to be seeing the Zen 2 architecture as far as we understand. Who knows when it'll actually be released, but we should be seeing a lot of information yeah. on it. But also, AMD is saying 7 nanometer GPUs will be announced. So that's amazing. Now first... We already have 7 nanometer Vega, but not for the gaming crowd and not really a big thing. Mm -hmm. But the understanding, according to the way AMD has worded this along with uh, what just makes sense, if they stick to the roadmap, and they have been sticking to the roadmap, we're going to see Navi. Finally. Could be really, really good. Realistically, I hope it's really good because right now is the ideal mm -hmm. time for AMD to strike. Yeah. When all of NVIDIA's cards are super overpriced, AMD could drop in and be like, hey, it's 1080 Ti level performance for $450. No ray tracing, but who cares? That's not going to be a big thing for a few more years. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Everybody's going to buy them. People yeah. are going to blow up about them. And the only people buying NVIDIA cards at that point, the only thing, reason mm -hmm. would be slightly more performance, up to, let's say, 30%, uh, and ray tracing. Yeah. It'd be an amazing thing. The price to performance ratio would be incredible. Mm -hmm. And so let's hope Navi can actually meet that. And realistically, assuming Navi is just Vega, but more power efficient, and it will be because 7 nanometer and slightly better performing, we've got that. This is this would be the new yeah. where the like 1080, 1080 Ti, 1070 Ti falls. Yeah. This now, takes over. I would love to see even more would be a $600 card with 2080 Ti performance with, with ray tracing. Yeah, see, now that would be amazing. Now, who knows? Maybe they will do something with ray tracing, so, too. My thing is, I have a feeling this this launch will be what tells us if next-gen consoles are getting ray tracing or not. Because while it is a long That's shot... That's a good point. While it is a long shot, if it's AMD enough can of do a cost-benefit for Sony and Microsoft yeah. to be worth a, a loss of money. Because if... if, if if you lose a few hundred bucks a console, but you save your developers hundreds of millions of dollars... That's a big deal. You don't sell hundreds of millions of consoles. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah, absolutely so, exciting. I really hope that Navi does good. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's kind of what AMD has hinted at over time of being their true next-gen mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, we know there's been some more Polaris stuff coming out and whatnot, but uh, if they can have Polaris on the low end and they can have Navi on the high end, mm -hmm. that would be really, really, really cool. Uh, Vega might be dead. Who knows? Uh, Vega, Vega kind of showed us that AMD understands how to do architectural design, but they just didn't do a very good job for the gaming market. Yeah. So if they can fix those things for Navi, mm -hmm. and seven nanometer could be a huge deal, a huge help with the power consumption. Yeah, which is uh, you know realistically, Nvidia's twenty series isn't that much better in terms of power consumption. Mm -hmm. So. This would be amazing if they yeah. could get power consumption close to matching like the 10 series. Mm -hmm. So now I wanted to read a quote from the CES press release. Uh, so quote, in 2019, AMD will catapult computer, gaming, and visualization technologies forward with the world's first seven nanometer high performance CPUs and GPUs, providing the power required to reach technology's next horizon, end quote. That is what makes me think ray the, tracing might be a part if of that. The, like, next horizon right yeah. now of course that could all just be marketing heap yeah but that does kind of hint mm -hmm. at ray tracing and you know from my understanding ray tracing would make a horizon look pretty nice mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they can rename this because amd likes to have horrible puns as horizon h-o-r no y-z-e-n no <laughs> no 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 so no, then no, they no. can also say that they have 
risen to the top. That one's already been used, but... And uh, AMD stocks be rising. See, these ones can go on forever. They did this one on purpose. They did this one on purpose. It's so epic. They did this one. I mean, really, really. Our epic server processors, uh, yeah. 